this question is both is, is about both recursion and integer division more really about integer division than recursion um, but let's take a look at it let's break it down so we have a precondition here which specifies that x must be greater than or equal to zero um, <clears throat> so this is um, this is probably related to the fact that with recursion we have to approach our stopping condition and uh, we want something either a positive value integer or zero in order for this to correctly hit its stopping condition so but we can assume that that whatever value of x is it will be greater than or equal to zero so the mystery method void method gets in an integer called x first thing it does <clears throat> is it because it's an integer, it does integer division on x. So it basically, this says how many times does 10 evenly go in, go into x, right? Any, any remainder is thrown away. And then it says this is not equal to zero. So if that is not equal to zero, right, we go ahead down here and make a recursive call. And we call mystery again with x, <clears throat> the same value that we got up here. So uh, x divided by 10 is um, <clears throat> is sorry again with you know how many times does 10 evenly go into x and uh, and that gets passed into the second version of the recursion. And it keeps doing this until it hits the stopping condition, right? Which is uh, x divided by 10 being equal to zero. All right. So, <clears throat> and after it gets back, right, this recursive call calls the method again. But remember with recursion, it always has to end, right? Anything left in it also has to end. So this... It's eventually going to get down here, and after stopping the recursions, it's going to unwind and come back to this point. So when it gets back to this point, it's going to print x mod 10, right? Which is how much is left over after 10, all the 10s have been pulled out of x, right? So that'll be the last digit, whatever that is, will be printed. So, okay, so let's look at what we've got here. So here's the number that we're going to call this thing with. So we, we know that it that um, when this thing is all done, it's going to print out, the last thing it's going to do is print out 6. All right, so there are two possibilities here. Uh, well, three. It's one of these, these three. All right, we can eliminate this one. And this one... You know, we don't know whether we're actually going to stop yet, although you might have guessed, but let's just trace this through for now. So this will pass in on the second version of the call. This will pass in one, two, three, four, five, right? Because it drops the six. Uh, and <clears throat> so that gets passed in and that is not divided by 10 is not zero so it makes another call and we know that when it gets back from the call before it does this other call it's going to print a what it's going to print the five so <clears throat> the second to last thing that it prints we know this the, if it doesn't crash because of infinite recursion uh, we know the last thing it prints is a six the second to the last is a five so we can eliminate that, All right? So now we just have those two. So we, you know, just looking at this now, you should be able to see that the, there's no particular reason that it's not going to work fine with one, two, three, four. So that eliminates that answer, <clears throat> right? And now we get our, all the way down to here. So let's see what happens when <clears throat> we have 12, when we're down to 12, and we call this thing with x div 10. Div is a, when you're doing integer division, you can say div for divide, you know, 
um, x divided by 10, x to the 10 is the same thing. Um, so that's going to send in uh, <clears throat> 1, right? Uh, so now x will be equal to 1. x div 10, there are no 10s, right? So uh, it doesn't it doesn't print um, it, it, this is actually true, right? Because one one div ten is zero, so it's equal to zero. So it stops the recursive call, doesn't do a recursive call. Comes down and prints x modulo ten, right? Which is one, right? Ten goes into one zero times, and there's one left over. So that's one. So there's there's the very first thing that this prints is one. So boom, there's your answer, right? And we know that we stopped the recursion. So when we got you know one div ten, uh, so we know that that's not the answer. So that's it. The answer is C. Okay?